Hi, I'm Troy Sivan and you're watching Pop Crush. So yeah, last year I announced TRXYE, my last EP at VidCon, and um, I don't know, something about being there and being kind of like with the fans who have been there with me, you know, since potentially 2007 when I posted my first video. It's a really cool and like bonding experience and it's such a loving and welcome environment, you know, for me. And so, um, yeah, I just, it made the most sense to, to announce there this year. And I have to say that they were louder this year than they were last year. So I'm, I think, I think they're really excited and that obviously makes me excited because I've been waiting for this day for a really long time. So. so many angry tweets before I announced and now it's like cooled off and they're all like satisfied for a few days. But um, yeah, I have to kind of keep them happy, which is not an easy task, but yeah. I'm not having a Miley moment yet, maybe in like a year, no, I'm just kidding. I, I don't know, I mean, to me, uh, it was actually basically as simple as, you know, Wild is this song that I wrote that um, I wrote it in like my ideal writing environment with my like favorite collaborator, Alex Hope, and the song was just, you know, it came so easily and it was just kind of like this absolutely ideal writing process. And we wrote the song in like three hours. We needed a kid's choir and it just so happened that like a bunch of kids came into the studio to have like photos and stuff. So we were like, wait, don't leave. We need you to sing. And so they were all really excited about that. And just kind of like everything went absolutely perfectly. And we came up with this song that I feel like sounds really authentically me. But at the same time, because I trusted the environment and felt so safe in that environment, I felt like I could kind of go a little poppier and try things that I kind of maybe wouldn't normally try and sing a lyric that maybe I no wouldn't like, you know, have necessarily sung before because I was just so scared that the session was going to go to a place where I didn't want it to. But I just, I think with working with Alex so much and working, you know, in just, like I said, such a safe environment comes like this opportunity to just try stuff that you wouldn't have tried before. And I'm really, really happy with the song. It's like one of my favorite songs I've ever written. So um, yeah, yeah, it was an important song to me. Yeah, I mean, I got to do some absolutely dream sessions because of um, the success of the last EP. So, you know, I, I got to collaborate with Broods on this um, mini album and TK Mides is on there. And um, in the process I've written with Jack Antonoff, Emil Haney's produced a song on, on the mini album. So um, I think, yeah, I mean, it's just like so many doors opened for me from that EP and um, made the writing process a lot, a lot more fun. I got to work with some really insane people. Yeah, insane. He was, I mean, he's just so lovely and everything. And um, yeah, I mean, on, on the song, we ended up getting Larry Gold to do strings and he's like an absolute strings legend. And it's just like, that whole song was just um, an ideal experience. And I wrote it with um, Leland and Ali X, who are like two of my favorite artists, but also two of my favorite collaborators. We've, you know, written pretty much like half the album as a little writing unit and, um, and a producer called Bram in score. And it was just like, again, just kind of ideal team passed on to Emil who just like made it that, I don't know, it's like a perfect song to me, so. I was scrolling through Tumblr, as you do, and um, I found an artist called Shai Ron Cheng from Taiwan, and um, hit her up and we got in contact. I'm just so obsessed with the way that she, um, she does digital artwork, right, and she, she paints people mostly, and um, almost always with like some sort of obscurity on the face, and which is something that I did with the last EP and was something that I definitely wanted to do for this one. Something about just like having my mug on my artwork makes me a little bit uncomfortable for right now. Maybe in the future I'll change, but um, yeah, it just kind of seemed a little unnecessary. Um, and I, yeah, so I mean, I, I reached out to her and um, we kind of got talking back and forth and she started sending over some mock-ups and immediately they were so beautiful and it was just about kind of, um, yeah, tweaking it and finalizing it. And then the only thing that was missing was the word wild and, um, Ron doesn't really do typography, so we reached out to a typography artist who, um, she did the Angus and Julia Stone artwork for last year, for their album last year, and um, I always thought it was so gorgeous, and so we reached out to her, her name's Gemma O'Brien, and she ended up doing the, the typography for the art, and um, it all just kind of came together, and like, it was a bit scary, because we had like all of these kind of separate pieces, um, and they were all so beautiful on their own, but I really didn't kind of know how it was all gonna, work together and what the exact layout was going to be, you know? And um, when I saw the, the way that it currently is, I was like, sweet, we're good, it's awesome. <laughs> I tend to do a lot of random sessions. I like going in with, you know, as many people as I possibly can and feeling out a vibe and just kind of seeing if there's any, you know, creative spark there. But um, I found really early on with this project that I found collaborators that I felt, you know, I clicked with and um, I felt that there was that spark and it just kind of, 
started to feel like home. Like I'd go out and do a random session and then I'd be like, oh, thank God I get to go back to Alex and Ali tomorrow or whatever, you know? I mean, like I said, there's Jack Antonoff, there's Emil Haney, there's, um, and then the rest of it is pretty much Alex Hope and Ali X Leland and Bramin score, these two kind of like separate writing teams. And um, yeah, I think finding that trust was like, probably the coolest part of the process. I've also, they're also like my best friends now. Like we're, we all just have, I can think of nothing better than right now going to a writing session with either one of them. You know, we get beers and sushi and just like sit down and write. It's often in apartments and hotel rooms. Um, Bram studios in a garage and it's just kind of like whatever's, whatever's flying. And I think it's kind of cool at the same time that this time around I have worked in amazing studios as well. But at the same time, I still feel like the place where the best songs have come out of are either hotel rooms or garages, so um, yeah, or apartments. Jack's the best. He has a sense of melody, like you have no idea, like everything he plays on his little like 80s synths just sounds so classic and nostalgic and youthful and he's just, um, he's incredible and such a nice guy as well. I'm obsessed with him. I have a complete man crush on Jack Antonoff, 100%. I have to say that a dream music collaboration for me was always Broods because I feel like it was one of those things where I could hear what I imagined a Troy Sivan and Broods song would sound like and I was like man that's dope I want to hear that song and then I went into the studio with them had to like control how much I was fangirling on the inside and we ended up writing this really really beautiful song that sounded exactly like the song in my head so I was like awesome it exists now it happened my dream collaboration um, and yeah it's on the first mini album so yeah, it's definitely on the cards. I have been rehearsing, I've got a band together and stuff, and you know, I haven't performed my own music live before, so it's definitely gonna be a huge step for me, and um, I wanna keep it really, really fan-centric at first, and just kind of play maybe some secret shows and stuff like that, and um, yeah, just kind of keep it really organic and small at first, and work my way up. I just wanna get comfortable, and I, I think it's just gonna be such an overwhelming experience to share with, um, that first kind of like 100 people that I play for that I'm nervous but I, I can't wait at the same time. I think it's going to be insane.